Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Oh, I'm Brad Hynek, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Brad, I imagine we're going to talk about the cane. Absolutely. Uh, one of the biggest misconceptions of cane use or crutches, if you're using one crutch, is which side to use it on. Right. If you got a broken left ankle or a sprained left ankle, to use it in the left hand or the right hand. I just went through this with someone um, yesterday with her sprained ankle, and she actually, went, Brad, just you interrupted me. Why? Well, I'm interrupt you, but I'm, let's pretend it's the right side. Oh yeah. And I'll tell you later on why. But let's right. why don't you roll that leg up even so that we oh. know that which one is the bad yeah. one right. or bad involved one. I got so, my socks on today, so I feel all right about this. So you could be doing, um, you could have an injured ankle, an injured knee, or an injured hip. This Maybe is, even an injured back. We'll just call it the involved side. This is the involved side, yeah. So generally, let's say your involved side is the hip uh, right now, I mean, a hip okay. problem. Which side would you use the cane on, Brad? All right. A lot of people would think, including Dr. House on that silly show, he puts it on the wrong side, the same side that the involved leg is on the injury. Why don't you walk that way once? Yeah, so you go like this. And you really got to limp, don't you? Yeah, it's true. It does take weight off of that right leg. However, you're not as stable and it's not near as good. So I'll back up so you can enjoy the view better so you can see Bob instead of me. Now, the other thing, we're going to go through this quickly. If you got a cane, you make sure to adjust it right. So stand up tall, let your arm hang down. The handle. Stand up tall. Hand yeah, there we go. Well, you, you hold that then. And then uh, you move the arm just slightly forward. Yep. And it should hit you on the wrist. Yep. Right. Uh, there's there. a little variation in that based on comfort, but that one actually hits you right. Yeah, that, that's Stand right. Stand up tall. Yep. If I, if oh, it was it's like, a little bit low now, if you ask it's me. It's close enough. Okay. Though. It feels good to me. Bob. All right. But yeah, it, some people have it way up here and their arm is here. But anyways, get that right and then put it in the proper hand. In this case, the well, leg is going to go over here. And I went to a four-hour in-service and I went through every muscle and all the biomechanics and physics of why you do that. And I don't think we need to go into that no, much we detail. Don't need detail. There is a reason why biomechanically it is so much less stress on your hip to put in this side, but we're not going to go into it. The, the only thing I can say is, is when you walk forward with the right leg, the cane follows it. Right. When you swing through, you've got a wide base to stand so their balance is better. If you're over here, I'm near, not near as steady as over here, and I'm still unloading this leg. Bring that up again, Brad. So we start off, Okay. the cane and the involved leg are going to be together. Correct. Yep. yep. They swing through mirror They edge. come together. Mm -hmm. Then you put the weight on the cane, yep. so which is taking weight off the leg, right. and then you can bring the other leg through. Right. So and it's a very natural walk, too. Do you see? It's, 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 he's going foot after foot, very natural. It's not that limp. That you get when you when you're go on the same side. I tell you what, Bob. I don't know what you do with people, but you know, with patients, normally I just give them the cane. I say put it, and I give it. I say put it on the opposite side, and I say go for a walk. And, and I give it go. No instructions. That's exactly what I do too. And ninety percent of the time, they, they do it right. The sequence right. turns all right. But if I if I instruct them just like I did here, cane with the opposite leg, it, then they start thinking start about it. Up. Yeah. Uh, so now, if you get down to the knee and ankle, you can use the cane on the same side. Um, it, 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 and the only reason I would say that a lot of people are right-handed, the right hand, right arm dominant, and it's, and it's just very uncoordinated for some of them to use the right, the left hand sometimes. So sometimes people do prefer to use the right hand and kind of get that yeah. little Dr. House. Do, do that mm -hmm. again. This is a good example of a cane that's too short. But yeah, no, Bob is well. I have uh, the least forward. forward. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are there are exceptions. But for the most part, the, the general rule of thumb is to put it on the opposite yeah. side. Yeah. Anything so. else you want to say about canes, Brad? No, but I, I like the adjustable aluminum ones for sure. I like these handles too. Yeah, they got like some the, nice, pretty ones. The flat those. handles. Yeah. Sometimes they have the ones that are wider. And you can get you can really rest your palm on it. It's they've got some nice designs on. They got colored ones now. Yeah, yeah, they're very pretty. Multicolored, flowery designs. So so yeah, if you're looking for you know if you're 40 years and older, if you're 40 and over and you are looking for advice on how to stay healthy and fit and you know help help navigate those tough years and help you get into the elder years and with good uh, quality of life, you're gonna to want to subscribe and, to us and help your parents out because if you're 40, 50, they're yeah. probably looking at one of these. That's right. Have a good day and be careful.